There's been an update recently which affects the way I play my PvP Hardcore Iron Man. It is now possible for anyone to enter my house anytime I'm logged in. Since this update, a few people have been sneaking into my house and I don't like it. So I have decided that I want to PK these people so they stop breaking into my house. And to kill these PKers inside my house, I have to kick them out and have an account ready outside to rush them. That... <laughs> oh my god, AJS! <laughs> uh, I need to put these people on their place because they are hiding in my house non-stop. Look at that. 17 mil. <laughs> I tried to do this again, but it got pretty awkward. Uh, the guy wasn't in my comment bracket, so I just logged out. He's AFK. He doesn't know I'm, he's not TB. And now he's TB. And he's dead. He's dead to my recoil. As you probably can see, we are both in the same clan. It is because all the hunters have joined Hanani's clan to PK Hanani. So one day, I decided to pretend to be a revenant killer and try to anti PK skill specs. And this happened. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Give me the relic! I got a 16 mil relic, what the fuck? I'm out. I'm actually out. Oh my god. <laughs> I got the 16 mil relic! And after getting that 16 mil relic, I ended up going back to try to anti PK skill specs. Please off. <laughs> no way! <laughs> Please off, boys. Do we pin him? I think we pin him, bro. Not gonna lie. I think we pin him. Dying on the hot cry, man. Complete. There's no way, dude. He's down and he's. <laughs> man, who who gets who gets such Dragon Ball E spec there, bro? As if the right, the perfect timing with his vengeance. You're a legit. Di you know what, bro? Just for that, the engineer. I'm using the southern south. I'm using the southern staircase, you little dick. I'm still. I'm. I'm going. Please do him. not the use the northern up, staircase. Don't even use the southern one instead. 4.6 mil. That's one one bond. Thank you, skill specs. I still needed to collect some more bonds and to not waste anyone's time, skill specs just ended up giving them to me. And as humble as he is, he also ended up giving me a Manscaped Lawnmower 4.0. And luckily for all of us, Manscaped is today's video sponsor. Since all of us in here are gamers, we need to take care of our gamer groin and the Performance Package 4.0 by Manscaped has everything you need to take care of your hygiene. In the performance package, you will receive the Lawn Mower 4.0, which is a waterproof and wireless body trimmer. The Lawn Mower 4.0 is all around very good and safe with its skin safe technology, which helps you reduce nicks and cuts in the most sensitive areas of your body. The Lawn Mower 4.0 now have a travel lock feature, so if you click the on button three times, the LED indicator will show you it's locked and safe for travels. The performance package includes more items such as the Weed Whacker for ear and nose hairs, the Shed Travel Bag, and my favorite, the ball deodorant. Join over 2 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped by going to manscaped.com slash engineer for 20% discount. Link in the description down below. Every now and then I get a discord message from someone who have spotted a PK or they want me to kill, so I always check it out. And in this case, this guy who wants to stay anonymous tells me to go to Barrows. Oh, there is a PK. I think he's gonna try to freeze hug me. He's frozen. I think he can just barrage KO him. Dead? He doesn't have a spade. I think he's out! He's dead! <laughs> what the fuck is this? Oh my god, look at the loot. He wasn't even scoped. 12.1 mil. <laughs> okay. Got another message from the hot crime and hunter Pimpack. I got him. Farmer man wise up. Is dead. Uh, 880k. Not bad. What is that gear? Is that the league gear? Yep, he's dead. Anything? Trailblazer graceful ornament kit. How much is that worth? 480k. 
Oh, he's dead. And there, is, there it is, a dragon axe on the ground. All right, here we go. Scythe, here we go. Beautiful. Oh. Sad. All right. 40 mil. I'll take 40 mil. Five, four, eight. Someone just ran out. He was running towards the farming patch. <gasps> Coins? Oh my god. Hardcore Iron Man Hunter Pimpact found a guy thieving monster farmers in a PvP world. So I had to check it out. He's dead. He is dead. Why did he have a D spear though? Ra 26 radar seeds? Oh my goodness. Woo! 1.7 mil! Okay, I'll take the 1.7. So we found a guy farming in the high level part of the farming guild and we didn't have the requirement. So I had to gear up my main really fast to kill this man. Oh my, I got him. I geared up so quickly. Misty is down. That's a lot of coconuts. What the fuck? Coins? One mil! Five mil! Beautiful! So occasionally streamers on Twitch decides to do Inferno on PvP worlds because according to them, PvP worlds are more stable than normal worlds. And whenever this happens, people decide to wait outside the Inferno Cape, so I decided to PK the people who are waiting outside. That- Oh my- I got one of them. Two versus one, one is dead. He called me a turbo ram then. 550k because someone, someone is doing inferno in a PvP world. That's the reason why we made 550k. Abo is in my house, okay. Oh, and I failed. He was quick. He's dead, anything? Cash? One mil. Every now and then I like to try out different things on RuneScape and today I just felt like trying out anti-PK. <gasps> no way! No way! <laughs> I can't believe that just happened. I can't believe that just... <laughs> What the hell? Hey, 47 mil? Thank you. Okay, for some reason, this guy just DM'd me that there's a 1176 with some risk at Mammoth's World 390. And I'm geared on my pure account, so might as well check it out, right? There is a cannon right there. Oh, there was a guy here. Yeah, there's no way he survived. He didn't even eat. He didn't have any food. All right, 700k. Thank you, Mr. Tiki. What the fuck? Look at him! So I was fighting the streamer Dino and he killed me. So I suggested in his Twitch chat that he would do a giveaway with my loot. And he did! And to everyone's surprise, guess who the winner ended up being? Alright, good luck. There is no way in the world he's gonna come and collect it as well. Didn't even need to hop. <laughs> I actually want the giveaway. After dying. Apparently this guy tells me there's a guy here killing crabs. Oh. He he's actually risking something. Is that full graceful? He's dead. A high I'm rotten. That's a whip. He well, he's been high hogging. What the fuck? <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! 121 mil! What? This guy just told me, come here. I'm gonna sp give him half. This is the guy who's been hunting my hardcore. And he, he just DMs me. I didn't even have him added. <laughs> okay. 
A little spoiler for everyone watching my PvP locked hardcore Iron Man. I am currently going for 60 and 70 prayer by catching dragon implings and getting dragon bones from the dragon implings. And one rare impling spawn is right here, west of the dual arena. And there's a little safe zone on the west side of the fence of the dual arena, right here. So I've, I've just been standing here on all worlds, just waiting for a dragon impling to run by. But then I spotted a rune crafter training rune crafting for higher XP rates per hour because the banks are closer in PvP worlds. I see noise in a PvP world. Looting. And I think that's for graceful, a staff, a tome. Cosmic runes. 15k! Holy sh oh my god. Tome of fire, burning page. What the fuck? Seven mil! Okay! Thank you! How did he even teleport? I assume this guy really wanted his increased XP rates by being on a PvP world because he came back a few hours later and I killed him again. This time for 5.7 mil. And funny enough, he came back a third time two days later. And I did decide to kill him a third time. This time for around 4 mil. And that is going to be the final clip of this episode. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. All these clips have been collected over the course of the last two months. And if you did enjoy this one, make sure to leave the video a like. And according to statistics, 47% of you watching right now haven't subscribed. So feel free to subscribe as well. Hello there. You're all probably very hungry. So I bought myself two pizzas for us all to share. Uh, these pizzas are very popular here in Sweden. We got two variants which I think you might find interesting. This pizza right here, the kebab pizza. In Sweden we love to mix different cultures into one, in this case Italian culture of pizza and the Middle Eastern culture of kebab. Smash them into one, add some garlic sauce and there we have a kebab pizza. And the second pizza which you might find a bit odd is this one, uh, Hawaii pizza with banana and curry. Internationally in the world, people always argue, do you have pineapple on pizza, yes or no? But in Sweden we argue, do you have banana on pizza, yes or no? So yeah, here it is, right here. School. Oh yeah, pause one second. Earlier I did say that we are sharing these two pizzas together, all of you. But since we are in Sweden, I'm gonna take these two pizzas and eat it with my family while you guys wait here. So yeah, I'll be I'll be back in a brief moment.